we explore various professions and walks of life from people across the country in former President Barack Obama's new Netflix documentary, Working, What We Do All Day. In many ways, work is synonymous with life itself. From the moment we wake up until we call it a night, everyone is involved in some form of work, activity or even inactivity to pass the day, albeit paid or unpaid. But, do we live to work? Or work to live? Does work define us as people? Or do we define our work? For the high school student, they are working by tackling college applications and scholarships, while juggling academic and extracurricular responsibilities. These activities, although not officially employable, are critically important as students prepare for adulthood. The professional in the entry-level position is learning not only the technical tasks, but also the numerous adaptive lessons in the new role. And, senior professionals may reflect on their work especially as they prepare for retirement. A stay-at-home parent is on the grind to coordinate meals, schedules, loads of laundry, and likely juggling some side hustles or passion projects. Play is a child's work as their amusement and curiosity provides the insight into the big world around them. Even volunteers grind by trading their time for service and meaningful impact in the community for the projects they believe in. So, we're all working in some way. The docuseries portrays this reality, while providing important historical lessons related to race, socioeconomic status, research, and numerous stats about wealth. Obama asks, when you have it all, what responsibility do you have to other people? Overall, the docuseries heightens our consciousness to social accountability and our connections with others. The production also makes us ponder the unknowns of how we will work in the future as content creation, automation, and technology advancements proliferate. Make sure to check out, Working, What We Do All Day, for insightful and informative edutainment you can't afford to miss. Whether you have your own business, a traditional W-2, or maybe even a dream in the works, consider these personal finance connections inspired by the docuseries. 1. Make work, work for you. Maybe your job and your passion are one in the same. But maybe not. Some people are fortunate to do what they love for work. Others may be doing what they have to do in an industry they don't like, so they can afford to spend time on what excites them during their off hours. That's okay, too. Handle business and maximize your money because we should all be millionaires. It's not impossible, but we all have to start somewhere and do the best we can with the resources we have. 2. Work smart. Whatever your line of work, strive to be as efficient and effective as possible. Maybe this means delegation and empowering your team. Or defining those atomic habits to increase your productivity. Coming in early during your company's most demanding season of the year to get ahead. Even developing a new system to organize your time to avoid the procrastination is well worth the effort. 3. Be your own boss. Meaning you are in control of you. Managers and supervisors may provide the formal evaluations and cut the checks, but we all ultimately direct our own life paths by the choices and decisions we make. Reclaim your time to think about money and your holistic goals overall. Strive each day to be at your personal and professional best. If you work hard and meet your responsibilities, you can get ahead, no matter where you come from, what you look like or who you love. Barack Obama connect with your purpose as you enjoy the series.